Here's our new thermocouple, and we just want to unwind this a little bit. Just untwist it. You don't want to mess with these bends yet. Top and bottom. Okay, next thing we're going to do is in the gas valve, there's a, there's a nut on there, and we need to loosen that up. I know it's going to be hard to see, and you probably can't see, but I'm just going to loosen this up a little bit. This thermocouple is in here pretty tight. Okay, I got it. It's a little difficult to get there. But we'll take that out. We can see that's out now. And a new one will screw in there, but let's get that to the bottom part. Now, the thermocouple is right here. This one's kind of loose already, but normally they, they just click up in there. And they are a little difficult to get out, so sometimes you, you have to, you know, give them a little yank. But they do come out. And we pull this one out of here. And there's our thermocouple. Next thing I'm going to do is pull this little clip off because we're probably going to reuse that. Uh, maybe not. Okay, a new one comes with a threaded in sleeve. So we'll go ahead and thread that in if we can get it in there. Alright, let's see how we got it started. Clip ones in are real nice, you just clip it back in. But I'll just tighten this a slight bit. You don't need to tighten it that much. Okay. We have our new holder in. So we'll slide our new thermocouple up into the holder. Once we get it where we want it to go. And it's slid in. Next thing we want to do is hook up our wire into the gas valve. So that threads in and you just give out a, a slight corner turn tightening. You don't want to overdo it. Well, I know it's hard, you can't see this, but it is simply a matter of just uh, turning in a uh, Thread it part into your gas valve. Okay, 
that's in there. At this point, we're going to relight the furnace in the pilot. I'm going to set my gas valve to the pilot setting and hold it on. And that's going to allow uh, gas to flow through in there to light the pilot. And we'll come back down to the pilot part. So we'll hold that in. These are always handy. I guess they're made to light your grill or something. But there we go. Now we're lit. Now our pilot is a little too light. It probably needs clean. I've got a little bigger, but looks like our pilot tube's going to be clean. But that's how we change our thermal cobble. And of course, we'll have to clean the pilot tube and the orifice and the burner to make sure that's all good. That we're getting a, uh, a more flow in our gas. But if you have a low pilot, you're going to need to clean that stuff up. And we'll, we'll deal with that in our time. But, uh, that's how to change your thermocouple.